This is the plaintiff, Robert Petito. He says the defendant hired him to make her new kitchen cabinet doors. He did, she paid him, then she put a stop payment on the check. The defendant is very sneaky. She's a dishonest woman, and he's suing her for $390, the balance of what he's owed, plus banking fees. This is the defendant, Raman Chander. She says the plaintiff made her doors all right, but he didn't give her the hinges to hang them. When she called and asked him about providing them, the nasty guy hung up on her. Well, she's not about to pay in full for a job which was only half completed, and that's why she stopped payment on her check. She feels the judge will side with her today and can't wait to see the nasty man's face when she does. She's accused of becoming unhinged. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant hired him to make new kitchen cabinets oh, yeah, and she stiffed him. But the defendant says he didn't give her hinges. It's the case of the homeowner who came unhinged. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Robert Petito, you are suing Ramon. Ramon? Yes. Chander for $390 that you say she owes you, $375 the balance of a check that she made to you for work you did and the rest of it, your bank fee for her stopping payment. Right. On it. What happened here? She had contacted me and wanted to upgrade her apartment that she was renting. So I went there and I gave her a price on the cabinet doors. She informed me that I was too high. We finally agree on a price. And uh, she did give me the first check. What was your first quote to her? I believe it was 800 And then she talked you down to? 750 Okay. So she gives you the first check, which is 300 and? 375 Yeah. Okay. And, and then she's giving you the other half afterwards, right? Went on delivery. On delivery. On and delivery. what were you supposed to deliver to her? The cabinet doors, 15 cabinet doors and two drawer fronts. Okay. Were you creating them yourself? No. I, no, I have a manufacturer that does that. Can I see an, the invoice, the original invoice, or the contract that you two agreed upon? Sure. Let me give you both. The so days. were you installing them? No, just and, supplying them. And then she was going to install them? Yep. OK, you actually discussed that with her? Oh, yeah. All right. It, it states it right on my OK, contract. supply only 15 doors and two drawer fronts. Right. OK, now they come, and do you deliver them, or does somebody else I deliver? do. You deliver them, and when you deliver them, she gives you the other check. Right. Does she say anything about hinges or screws? No. Did you supply hinges or screws? I supplied the hinges. But not the screws? It come, the hinges come with the door. Okay. It's an automatic situation. But not the screws? Not the screws. The that screws... seems like a pain. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, how am I going to take a door to the head, and now I got to figure out the... You, you would, I wouldn't know which screw to give her, because you can use different size screws depending on the application. Depending on the thing it's being adhered to, right. maybe that's why the manufacturer doesn't do it because it doesn't it doesn't see the the back part of what it's going to be exactly. Okay, so yeah. according to you, you supplied the hinges. Yeah. All right, now according to you, he didn't supply the hinges. No, it was only doors when he delivered me. It was in the boxes, and I did not open the, all the boxes because I have to call my workers to open the boxes and. Well, fit why the didn't doors. you open the boxes just to look at them, make sure it's the right thing? Because it's a big box. It's oh, like Christmas to me. When yeah. somebody's delivering something and I have to approve it, the first thing I do is open it up and take a look. Yeah, but, uh, I inspect every one, but I'm crazy. But maybe, you know, I mean, that's kind of what you should do. <laughs> Honorable Judge, listen to me. I am not, I don't know. Okay. You know, usually doors come with the hinges, mm -hmm. but he did not give no hinges. Okay, he that. says he did. So what I'm trying to figure out is who actually opened the boxes, if not you. Uh, well, I was there. My workers opened the boxes. And what happened? There was no hinges. So do you call him and say, "Hey, where are the hinges?" Yes, I um, I call him next day. I have the record of this uh, calling him, and I talk to him. I say, "Do you, you have a picture of the hingeless doors?" Ma I didn't know that he gonna sue me. Well, what do you think was gonna happen, honey? When you pay him a check and you stop paying I the next day? I thought he was gonna call me. Maybe, maybe we could discuss first. He did call you. You did discuss it, except for that you didn't want to pay him. No, he did not call me. After I, everything I hit the fan, didn't you call him? Yes, ma'am. I will. Okay. Tell and you, you say to him, "There's no hinges." How much later was it that you say? Right next day. Next day, you call me, say, "Hey, there's no hinges." And what does he I say? I said, "Bob, there is no hinges on the door." He said, "It doesn't come with the hinges." He said, "It doesn't come with the hinges." I said, "Did but you say I that?" What I, what she, when she called me, she says, I don't have the special screws to hang the doors. That's what she told me. 
And I said, they don't come with screws. She says, then how am I going to hang the doors? As you have to go to Home Depot and get the screws. And she hung up on me. I called her back that afternoon. She wouldn't answer the phone. Two days later, I called her up again, only because I found out that she stopped the check. She wouldn't answer the phone again. OK, so she never talked to me. Do you have phone the records? Pardon me? Do you have phone records? No, I don't, okay. unfortunately. Do you have phone records? Yes. Let me see your phone records. And so do you guys, t you guys don't text each other? Uh, over no. here. Is there I... any emails that you send to each other? No, no emails, no text. Oh. But Judge, when I call him, I told him there is no hinges. I know. You say it's your way. He says it's his. Okay. How, where am I going to see the evidence of? Sure. Right. So you apparently hire somebody else. And that somebody else, do you have your workers? Do you have, are any of your workers here? I just have Do you have an evidence. affidavit from one of your workers? Yes. Let me see. So what hinges did he end up using? His own. OK. And then he just made it work, right? And everything's yes. fine now. Yes. Is this the guy who ultimately was able to install the yes. doors? So you don't have a single picture of the cabinets without the, the hinges that you could show me? Not one? Ma'am, I did not know that I'm going to come to this point. And I could, uh, I could uh, you know, let you listen. Uh, what did you pay this guy, this guy? $160, because he take all the cabinets out, doors out. And uh, he tried to put the hinges, and he could not put it. We went to Home Depot a couple times, Lowe's a couple times, tried to buy the even screws for the Is there a telephone hinges. number for and this person? Could, Get yes. him on the phone. Do you mind? Let's hear what not he has to all. say. Okay. And he could you tell also you there have is a hinges. My oh, order no. sheet from my manufacturer. Yeah, let's see that. Yeah, please. Okay. I mean, but you don't inspect it. It goes from the manufacturer to her, right? Oh, I inspect it before before it gets to her. How do you inspect it? When I pick it up. Yeah, but who it ships it to her? Me. Or you physically take it to her? Yeah. You had inspected it and you looked at it. I and there were hinges? I inspected, and they wrap it right there. And there were hinges? And there were hinges. Every, every job I do has hinges. Yeah, get him on the phone. We don't want to hear who we're, who's sending me this affidavit. What's his name? Raphael. Hi, Rafia. This is the Ramona opposite to your community. Remember you hang the, my cabinet doors? Yeah. Okay. So the gentleman who delivered the doors, remember, we did not have no hinges. You said, I'm going to put my I'd own hinges. I'd rather you not lead him, if you don't okay. mind. I would okay. say that. Let the judge talk to you. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, here, I'm in the court. Can you please tell the judge what, whatever she asked you? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Here. I'm not sure. So she doesn't bring pictures in. She says, I, I didn't know I was going to be sued. But she stopped payment on the check. You buying her story? No. Why? It doesn't make sense. How does she not know she's going to be sued? She's in court. I just think it's a matter of her being irresponsible of what the situation that she's in. Okay, you're saying irresponsible. Is it? She's just trying. To, is she trying to get over? Huh? She's ducking it. Kind of. By the way, can I just tell you, your baby is so cute. I just had to, oh my God, your baby is so cute. And your baby's not even bothered by me because I usually bother kids. Uh, going inside the courtroom. Rafael? Yeah. Okay, this is Judge Marilyn Milian from the People's Court. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I am? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Are, are you surprised? Pretty much, yeah. I don't know does, this, does this stuff happen to you every day? Okay. No, let me tell you, Rafael, why. And thank you for taking the call. And um, I, I, the reason that I'm calling you is because I have a dispute in front of me where the lady of the house canceled the check on the cabinets because, according to her, the doors came without hinges. So my question to you is, tell me about the doors, what you saw, and what you did. Uh, pretty much I have to um, adjust the hinges. But did you have to supply hinges or did it come with hinges? Um, actually the, the hinges were there already. Were they? Yeah, all, all, all no, he supplied by himself. <laughs> the hinges were he there already. He was asking me more money. Right, thank you very much. No okay, bye-bye. All righty. <laughs> 375 plus the $15 bank fee, you have $390 verdict for the plaintiff plus your court costs. Hold on. So the plaintiff prevails, Ms. Chander. Yes. 
That telephone call cooked your goose in this courtroom. You know that. No, really. He probably don't remember it, but there was no well, hinges. It seemed like he did. Knew right away. The because hinges I were put there. the old hinges, he took it out, and he put the new one. Because old cabinet. All right. Well, we listen, I'm sorry. That. You have one story. He had the other story, and that's the one the judge believed. Okay? It's okay. I'm Whatever sorry. Whatever he says is okay. Okay. Because I know what it is. Okay. It was not hinges were not there. Thank you so much. Anyway, Thanks. you must sign some documents with our bailiff outside. How are you? Okay. Good to see you. Now, you've satisfied with the court? Yes, I am. Got your Which money? You're happy? Should have been that way to begin it with. It should have been. You're right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, okay thank you. You sign some documents, and that's it. Harvey? Okay, I mean, it almost goes without saying, but photos are critical in court, especially in cases like this, where it is just obvious. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.